We're joined now by John Ossoff, the Democratic candidate for Congress in Georgia's 6th Congressional District, where the voting will start tomorrow morning. Voting Votes will be counted here tomorrow night. Uh, John Ossoff, thank you very much for joining us tonight on this, your last night of campaigning. I want to go to something that the president uh, tweeted today uh, when he tweeted directly at you, as it were. The first thing he said, the first point he made is that you do not live in the district that you're running in. Why don't you live in that district? District and, and how far from that district do you live and, and what will you do if you win? Good evening, Lawrence. Thank you for having me. Well, I grew up in the 6th Congressional District. I live about two miles south of the line while my fiance finishes medical school at Emory University. She walks to work in the morning uh, and we're down there so she can walk to work for early morning shifts at the hospital. And has this been an, uh, an issue as you talk to voters in the district, the, the fact that you're living two miles over the line? Actually, I think folks uh, are, are pleased to uh, understand that I'm supporting my fiance, uh, and I'm proud of the fact that I'm supporting her career, even if I take some political heat for it. Uh, let's go to the second thing in the president's tweet. He said uh, that John Ossoff just wants to raise taxes. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, honored that the president is so interested in the race, but he's deeply misinformed. Uh, about my priorities, and I will invite him again, as I've invited him in the past, to check out my website, electjohn.com, if he wants uh, an accurate accounting of my position on the issues. I don't support any tax increases. What I support is an economic policy that will help Metro Atlanta become an economic powerhouse that's the envy of the rest of the country. It will help us grow our high-tech, biotech, and medical research sectors and become the Silicon Valley of the South. All right, and let's complete, let's deal with the president's tweet in its entirety. His final item, he says about you, is that John Ossoff wants to, quote, kill health care. Uh, in fact, what I want is some bipartisan action to make health care and health insurance more affordable and to improve access. Unfortunately, what Congress has seen fit to do is to pass a bill, as you know, that will throw more than 20 million Americans off their health insurance. That will gut essential protections for Georgians with pre-existing conditions. It's bad for women. It's bad for older Americans. And it's an example of what happens when career politicians in Washington are more concerned with partisan objectives than serving the public interest. This bill, which my opponent, Karen Handel, supports, is deeply unpopular popular in this district, uh, and folks want to see the parties work together on some solutions that are going to make health care more accessible and more affordable. What's more important in this race, uh, the health care bill, uh, uh, bill as an issue or President Trump? Well, I think uh, what voters are hungry for is fresh leadership that's not going to get mired in gridlock in the partisan circus in Washington. And with this atmosphere of scandal and disarray and gridlock in D.C., uh, with faith in the administration continuing to decline, voters are hungry for representation that's going to be focused on improving their quality of life by focusing on local economic development, by focusing on uh, access to health care, particularly for women and those with pre-existing conditions. There's so little happening in Washington right now that serves the needs of people. Uh, and they want representation that will work across the aisle to do that. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about uh, Karen Handel's association with President Trump. She is saying that you are, quote, handpicked by Nancy Pelosi. Well, I started this campaign in my living room. And I think that if that's the best that my opponent can trot out, uh, then I'm feeling pretty good about the outcome tomorrow. Uh, John Ossoff, what, what, do you think this is going to be uh, an early call tomorrow night? How long? You, these polls are basically showing a tie. This could go very late tomorrow night. It could go very late. It is a true neck and neck race, Lawrence. It's a nail biter. And that means it's going to come down to turnout. I just left a rally with about 300 volunteers who are going to be working so hard to get out the vote. Uh, for the next 24 hours. And it's important, if you're in Georgia and you're watching, to make your voice heard tomorrow. You can find out where and how to vote at electjohn.com slash vote. But uh, it's a critical that everyone's voices be heard. It's going to be such a close race. John Ossoff, thank you very much for joining us on your last night of campaigning. Really appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.